Hello and welcome. My name is Marie Taylor. I'm a coach, speaker and developer of leaders. It's my pleasure to bring you tips on fast and slow thinking. These tips have been devised to help you think purposefully and be in the driving seat of your thinking. Our thinking influences our beliefs and our beliefs inform how we show up in the world every day. My objective in bringing you these tips is to help you notice your thinking so that you manage it rather than have it manage you. The mind is a wonderful and tricky beast. It can confuse us and alter our thinking and in turn our beliefs without our noticing it sometimes. For example, we confuse experience and memory. Consider you're on a great holiday. You have a beautiful white sandy beach, three good books, the weather is perfect, the sea is warm and soft, the sky is blue, the food is great, the wine has been flowing, you have a tan, you've done some great sightseeing, it's been wonderful and you don't want to leave. You leave the hotel reluctantly, the service has been brilliant. Then your flight home is delayed by seven hours and you arrive at Heathrow Airport tired from your journey. You get in a taxi and when the driver asks, did you have a good trip? You say it was all right. We had an awful flight delay on the way back. It was all right. Less than 24 hours ago, you thought it was brilliant. Your holiday hasn't changed. It's just that your experience has been distorted by the last 10 hours. The holiday is the experiencing self. The delayed flight has distorted the remembering self. Your fast thinking head has reinterpreted the experience in the time it takes for a cab driver to ask a question. The remembering self keeps score and maintains the story. When we get confused between these, we can get in a mess. In a work context, when we are fast thinking, we're working mostly from the remembering self and we're filtering everything through our most recent memory. So let's consider that in relation to managing people. If we have someone in our team who has made a mistake recently and we're asked a quick question by the CEO, what do you think of Bob and his work? In fast thinking mode, we might say, oh, he's dropped the ball on a big project last month. In that moment, we've lost the full sense and picture of Bob. If we had turned the volume on the fast head down and allowed the slow thinking to click in, we may have said, oh, Bob, yes, He's delivered some great projects during his 10 years. He manages teams well. He keeps things on track. We had an issue with a recent project and we haven't evaluated that yet to see what went wrong in the process. Our fast and slow thinking can break or enhance careers if we only define the stories we have in terms of the most recent story and its ending. One way of slowing the thinking down in these types of situation is breathing and associating slowing down the breathing with slowing down the thoughts in your head. This allows those thoughts to be more purposeful. Yes, I know you breathe all the time. The trick is to move the breathing to the diaphragm, to the belly, to breathe slower. This helps to slow our thinking down. Staying with the holiday theme, how many times have you seen people on holiday taking hundreds of photographs, cameras poised? Go and stand on Westminster Bridge in London and you'll see it every day. People taking photos on one side of the Houses of Parliament and on the other of the London Eye. Then they're on to the next bit of sightseeing. We take photos to capture a memory of a place or to say we've been. So often we're not experiencing our sense of being in that place. We're creating a remembering, not having an experience. Why not use your eyes as the window to your remembering? That way, your slow thinking has taken the memory into your unconscious and it can be retrieved anytime. If you're so busy snapping fast pictures into the memory card of your camera or your smartphone, the camera holds that memory, not you. Your fast head has already moved on to the next thing. We have around 60,000 thoughts a day. Slow that busy head down. Create great memories. Create purposeful, lasting thoughts. Until next time, keep creating great thoughts.